Hello and welcome back to the Belgian Open 2022. We have round one back nine coverage brought to you by MDG Media. I'm Andrew Gum and alongside me, Elias Lukkonen. Hello guys, my pleasure to be commentating on this great event. Yeah, it's the final stop on the PDGA Euro Tour. We have a really exciting action to bring you. Anakin Stain playing for the Tour Championship. Just need to secure a podium finish to, to win the outright title. And she's uh, just one back of Laura Posh at the moment. This is brought to you by RPM Discs. Great manufacturer from New Zealand. Yeah, it was a great event in Belgium. Gotta give a huge shout out to Jean-Louis and his crew for hosting this really kind of community-like event. Yeah, such a warm welcome and such a, a Frisbee family feeling. It was it was a real pleasure to be a part of it. Big thanks to everybody involved for everything you do to make this happen. Had a ton of fun and really honored to be here doing the commentary. As you saw there, Laura with the one-stroke lead over Anakin and everybody on this card playing really well. See if they can keep that momentum in the back nine. Hole 10, downhill, 55 meter. Shorty but a goody really, isn't it? Touchy one. It is, yeah. This this hole, even though it's very short, it definitely does require great touch and, you know, even great angle control. It's very easy to drift to the right or left side of this fairway, and especially easy to go long off the tee. For sure. As we can see here, Anikan with hitting the line, but lying over the basket, and she's almost 15 meters away right away. Yeah, yeah, pretty good looking shot, but she had way too much speed. It blew past, but she'd be putting uphill, and she's got that in her game. She can she can definitely bang the big putts, and you can give it a safe run from uphill. Whoa, that worked Whoa, out really that's good. That's a great kick there. <laughs> that was kind of a, a unconventional line. It was really high and got a got a good reaction off the off the branches up high and settled up really close to the basket. Yeah. I'm kind of surprised to see these players going with the forehand on this hole. I haven't seen a lot of forehand plays here. No. But, but it, it does sort of shape up pretty good for it. But yeah, yeah four for four, forehands, huh? Maybe it's the forehand is definitely more comfortable to hit the gap of the tee. That's for sure. This one looks perfect. But even though that one looked like the perfect line. Oh, she's way past. Yeah, that looked like the perfect shot, but it was just a bit too fast and... Yeah. Now it's circle two. Yeah, and, and kind of a tricky spot. Well, I guess she has a little bit of an opening, but no, she has to pitch up with a forehand, not even a chance to really run it. So a couple layups there, and uh, Anakin, I know she's going for this, though. This is right in her, her wheelhouse. Oh, yeah. But kind doesn't, of pulled it left. Yeah, but... doesn't get the perfect release on it. Pretty uphill, much more uphill than it looks on camera. And... Yeah, that's true. Nicola with a great birdie there, really yeah. taking, a, taking advantage of the good kick off the tree. Yeah, nicely done. Now we have only three strokes between everybody on this card, so that that little uh, birdie really really tightened things up here. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely one of the easier holes on the course. Definitely a birdie you want to get, but as we saw, the distance control is very difficult. Yeah, and it's much easier said than done. Somehow you, you just, like, a lot, a lot can go wrong on that hole for being so short. And then we move into a... a Another sort of one you want to get, hole, hole 11, par 4, 175 meters. A lot of space to work with off the tee, so you really just want to end up somewhere in the middle and then give yourself a chance to get up and down, move it a little bit right to left and, and slightly uphill for the upshot. Yeah, exactly. This this hole is pretty well set up for the right hand or the right hand hyzer. We can see Nicola going with even kind of a hyzer flip kind of shot to get more distance. That's a decent position. You would right. You would like to be ideal a bit more to the right side of the fairway, since from the right side you have a better angle to approach the green. For example, this looks very good position. Yeah, I think you get a little bit pinched off if you're if you're too tight on that uh, left side, and then it can be can be like you can kind of compound the mistakes there if you try to you know try to like get around the corner and don't quite get there. You can be OB or you can push it too straight and be in trouble that way too. So. Yeah. It's better off to be somewhere like here, where Laura's going right in the middle is nice. Yeah, that is just a perfect shot. You could see her going with a bit more of an understable disc to get this more is, glide. Is this a misrelease? Yeah, that's challenging the OB, and I think that's going on the right side OB. Yeah, I think that came out a little bit early from her with the forehand, and uh, 
See if she can nail a good recovery shot here, but she's still... She seems to be leaning on that forehand a lot. Doesn't look like it shapes for a forehand, but she puts a great move on this. Yeah, this looks great. Get on up there. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's inside the circle. That's a great, great play from there. Yeah, solid recovery shot after a little bit off on the from the tee. And here we can see that if she needs to really swing a hyzer around, and she's done pretty good with it, though. I, I like what I'm seeing. Yeah, That'll that's work. a good shot from there, you know, making the angle much more difficult on the left side. You can see even Laura being in the middle of the fairway still has kind of a difficult angle to approach the green. Yeah, and it makes it more blind too. It's a little bit kind of hard to maybe maybe judge the the distance and everything yeah. when you're when you're not able to see the pin. When you're on the right side, you can have a good good look at it, and maybe it's a yeah. little bit a little bit easier to dial in the distance. That exactly, way. but not too hard for Laura there. She no. gets in the bullseye yeah. with a great shot. She made great work of that. This looks great as well. What a sweet turnover from Anakin. Yeah, it was a little pass, but that was perfect. Beautiful line. That was really. a great shot. Even yeah. almost challenging the long OB, which is not something you see very often on this hole. Oh, but I really like the shape of that turnover. That was clean. Got Probably all the tricks. A par save. That's oh, yeah. a great par save. Oh, Going yeah. Going forehand, forehand, and reaching the basket in three throws. Just the one OB stroke on top of that. Yeah, and a great putt to finish it off. Yeah. Very well done. And again for the birdie. Oh, don't see her miss too much from that distance. It just looked like it kind of got away with her. Maybe it didn't come out quite right. Yeah, that's a, a little bit late release. Very surprising miss. Usually she's very consistent with the putter. Par's okay on this one though. Oh, hmm. Seems to be having some grip issues or maybe just a little bit lost her, her focus for a moment here. Yeah. But that yeah. can be very difficult. I can tell from experience that when you get those couple of those misses, it's really difficult to come back from that. Let's hope she finds her focus in the future. Yeah, she's, this will be her third putt. She was going for birdie, and now she needs to save the bogey. She is pretty close, I think. But she really needs to focus here and uh, get those those um, recent misses out of her head and just focus here in on the point. She's, as we all know, she's a fantastic putter. Just having a little bit of lapse in um, concentration, I think. Here, oh my Ooh. gosh, that almost snuck out. Yeah, that would have been that would have been catastrophic if if she missed that one. But yeah, yeah as 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 we mentioned, Anniken is going for the win of the entire tour in this competition. So she really needs to remind him herself of remaining focused even through adversity here. Yeah, yeah, well said. She now has a three-stroke deficit to Laura after that. Full 12 now, par three, 85 meters. A little bit more uphill than it looks. Kind of an optical illusion. Great, great hole design. Low ceiling, both both off the tee and here towards the green. Pretty well-guarded green too. Yeah, definitely. We will see most likely some straight shots here, trying to hit the gap in front of the basket pretty low. This, going this one looks great. It's a bit right. Ah, oh, a bit of a bad reaction. Kicked off a tree, but it was looking pretty good. Yeah, you could see that she gave the disc a lot of velocity for the uphill that we really can't see on the video. Two kind of similar shots. Yeah. There is also OB on the right side, but those two shots are well clear of it. Yeah, Maria's forehand comes up just a bit short, cut rolls, but settles up right in the middle, so. Yeah, that's kind of the low release. That's pretty common on this hole since the uphill is, even even in real life, it's kind of difficult to see. Yeah, definitely is. Definitely one of those holes you really really need to practice in order to get it right for the, for the round. I, pl I was playing blind and I, I was really confused at the, uh, at, at the, um, great of the slope I, I yeah i burned it into the ground really early thinking it was just more of a straight shot but yeah this is definitely a good hole to practice on Aniken, we saw Aniken throw her drive probably pretty much inside the circle she got a bit lucky through the trees maria with a great approach laura running for the birdie but she's gonna settle for the par yeah looked like a pretty good attempt but just came up short 
kind of tough. There's so much obstructions here on this one. Yeah, Nicola with the open look for birdie, and that's a great putt. That's a great birdie to get. She's battling tough here on the back nine. Two down. Yeah, that's Eater. a great start. For sure. And he can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now she's got her putter back. That's a, that's a bounce back. That's a really pro shot there, you know, getting everything out of your head after those troubles on the last one and just yeah. moving, moving forward and repairing the damage. And Great focus. You yeah. could see her kind of laugh about it, you know, being like, how did I miss on the last hole? Yeah. And making that one just in the middle of the basket from eight meters. That was great. Yeah, exactly. She knows she's a great putter. Just uh, just had a little bit of a slip up there on the last one. and Right right back to business here. On yeah. Hole, hole 12. So now we're on hole 13. Tight double mando. Great gap. Par 4. 126 meters. You just got to just gotta pipe it down the middle. There's really no other option here, is there? Yeah, that's well said, you know. This is a pretty tight gap for for being that far away. And on this hole, the drive is so crucial that if you miss the drive, you're going to have a very difficult time saving the par from the drop zone. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So we'd expect some straight to understable fairway drivers or mid ranges here off the tee. Oh, Ooh, that's a that's big slip. Worst case scenario on this one. Yeah, that looks thick down there. That's not the first time I've seen that. I saw some really high level MPO players do that as well, but it's it's um really hard to hard to understand. I guess it's just sometimes it happens you just missed your line really bad. Yeah, and it's it's definitely a tempting hole with the double mando. Oh, I think that just missed. Did that miss the mando? Yeah. It did, yes. Yeah, it came just left side of the tree. Yeah. Pretty close, but no cigar. But yeah, I think uh, I guess some of the MPO players maybe are going for the eagle, and maybe they try to rip it too much and just come out early or something. I'm not sure, but that that was a, a little bit offline there on that attempt. Yeah. Yeah, well, we're having some struggle on this hole, but it's it's as we said, it's a it's a very tough gap to hit. And actually, it looks like Nicole is going for the re t. Oh, and okay. now she throws it just perfectly down the middle. That was probably a pretty smart play if she got buried really deep in there. There was no chance to scramble, yeah. and then she got it right to, on the second throw. So yeah, smart decision and great execution to recover after that uh, kind of nightmare first tee shot. Uh oh, that missed. Ooh, that's gonna be trouble. She's gonna be throwing four from the drop zone. Yeah, I think she was trying to bend it right to left a little bit, but just kind of maybe maybe didn't get it quite perfect. And yeah. that's gonna cost her. Maria with a. Uh good forehand kind of trouble shot through the mando Anakin from the drop zone trying to get up and down for the par so that there is a gap to the basket but it's a very touchy shot this actually looks very good it just needs to skip for a bit oh it's real good yep she even went a little bit long yeah but... even a bit long and also the green is kind of touchy because on the backside of the green it kind of does slope away yeah, and there's OB over there too. Right? Yeah, if you go really far along, then you're going to be OB and putting for whatever number from circle two after the OB. Laura with a big smile, happy to sneak through after yeah. maybe a little bit high high shot from the drop zone, but it worked out really good for her. Yeah, she's just, wow, that's a great approach there. Yeah. Really utilizing all the height available on this hole. Looks like a good approach. Yeah. Good touch there with the overstable approach disc. Right under the basket. Nicely done. See if Anakin can save her par here. This would be a great par save off the drop zone. Mm, just, just a, a bit wide. wide. Yeah. I wonder if she's th still thinking about the two putting misses she had. Nice, nice job there to get in. Wasn't so sure from the look of it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, settled in nice. See, a lot of the cleanup from five meters. Yeah, trying to get save her bogey after missing the Mando on her second shot. Yeah. She's back to even for the round. Still a good round. Had some super great highlights and a lot of birdies, but just a couple moments of, uh, of um, like just a couple hiccups here and there, but. As to be expected on a course like this, there's so much score separation. Every hole is designed to really 
kind of bite you if you're off a little bit and um yeah yeah i, I really like this this style yeah. of course design you know the holes aren't that long but they all have a lot of challenge to them and a lot of things could go wrong for sure lots of elements of difficulty and lots of variation in the shot shaping and here we are on hole 14 par 4 176 meters moving out left to right through a pretty tight tight tunnel got that mando pole there on your right ob right and left and uh yeah definitely a rewarding birdie if you're able to execute two really clean shots yeah exactly the the difficulty of the drive is obviously hitting the first gap but also the distance control on the drive is pretty difficult because there is ob straight from this angle so if you throw a forehand or a backhand and it's a bit too far, it's going to be OB. But this drive is absolutely perfect. That's it right there. Yeah. Anything near the gravel path is just perfect. Yeah, and she's right on it. So she'll have good footing and perfect position for her second shot. This looks a little high. I'm worried. Okay. Yeah. Roll, rolls out at least. Could be worse. There is OB lining that right side. Uh, yeah. As you can see, the line right there. I would expect Onikin to get a good, great drive here. Yeah, but she kind of early releases it, and that's big trouble. Okay, it fights through, but she's a little bit pinched off over there. I yeah. guess being lefty, she can sort of pitch up for into good position to save the par, but she can't really attack yeah. so well from there. It's no play from for birdie there. No. This could be challenging the long OB, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. She's just gonna... over the banners, and that's never coming back if it goes over the banners. Yeah, so, yeah. Unfortunate just... there. That's a common mistake to kind of push that shot a little bit too straight, maybe. Yeah. I've seen that quite a few times. This is possibly doing the same. It's trying to fight back, but it can't yeah. quite do it all the way. And that's, that's OB pretty far back, too. She's going to be, yeah, in a little bit of trouble. Yeah. And you can really just lengthen the fairway. That's a smart play. There's really not much, much worth going for from there yeah you can't get all the way to the pin so she has to concede the par and that's that's smart golf yeah Laura with a little bit earlier release you don't really want to go deep into here because this is thick stuff yeah that's in the woods there I have been there there are some gaps through the woods but the gaps are pretty small and since she's pretty far away from the basket still it's gonna be really difficult this looks like a great forehand yep nice forehand sliding up to circle's edge yeah that's well done. Circle two putt. Well, I would. It's a good place to approach from. Putting a good move on that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah pin high. Kind of 10 meters ish. Yeah. Yeah. You can see the MDG media support here. They do a great job. Yeah. And an out signal. Great disc golf coverage for the world. Europe's finest. And again with a perfect approach. That's a really a stress-free par on this hole. It's it's a really great score. It's quite a rarely birdied hole. Looks like Laura was actually able to get to the circle from there. Yeah. A little bit work left to do, but uh, she did good to get out at least. Maria kind of leaving it high there. You can see the leaves being perfectly still with zero wind on the course. Really the conditions were perfect today. Just a little low on that one. Laura would really like to end her struggles here with a great putt. Ah. Unfortunately, not yet. Good par there. It's having a pretty good round, still at plus two. Everybody, yeah. I guess everybody on this card is right there, battling it out. Yeah, they're having some really consistent, consistent rounds. Really, not that many big slip-ups. You know, we d we did see a couple of double bogeys on this hole. That we have a three-way tie at the top now. 
plus two is the the um, hot round for the FPO and um, three different players on this card achieving that momentarily. Hole 15, par four, 186 meters. I guess you're just trying to get as much distance as you can off the tee. Yeah, on this hole, you would like to get as much distance as possible, but also preferably you would end up on the left side of the fairway to give yourself a better angle to approach the basket from. Yeah. Since if you're on the right side, and short, you're probably not gonna have really any great play to the basket. But if you're on the left side and short, you're gonna be just fine. Obviously, if you absolutely crush a drive to the mouth of the gap, then you're probably going to not really care about left side or right side. Right side. Yeah, that was pretty good for Mannequin. She can throw another shot just about like that and she'll be up to the pin, yeah. kind of dissecting the hole in half. Yeah, sure. She's kind of on the right side, but... Yeah, a little bit pinched, but she's... With the lefty backhand, she should be able to access the green, I think, from yeah. there, hopefully. Let's see what Laura does. It's yeah. a nice move on this. If it flexes back, it'll be real good, but it might be a little bit on the right side. No, it's pretty good. Pretty that's, good there. That's pretty much in the middle. That's fine. Yeah. You could see some good velocity on that that shot. I wonder if she had uh, a bit of frustration from the double bogey on the last hole. Certainly. Looking to bounce back big here and uh, yeah, she she really let it rip. Look, looked pretty good. Maria with a good second shot to the mouth of the gap. This one looks a bit inside though. No, it's actually great. He, she just got around the corner and she's going to have a long look at the birdie, I think. Yeah, circle two. Yeah, I guess, can, I guess with the hyzer. She was maybe a little more, more pinched than I realized. You were right. But she's made some pretty good work there to tombstone it in in circle two, and she still has a chance for birdie. Yeah. With that good range of spin putt, it's definitely possible. Let's see. Laura in the best position of the group. Oh, she saws off that forehand hyzer, though, and that's going to be trouble. Yeah, that's a costly mistake there. Mm. The right side trees are very thick. Yeah. Gunning for it. Whoa. Whoa, that was almost going for the basket. Yeah. But is that long OB or did I think it stay in bounds? Might have skipped down into the creek. I, I didn't really see it for sure, but it definitely had maybe a little bit too much juice on it. And she blew, blew pretty far past. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Laura happened to scramble and she's still not all the way out, but. Yeah. You can just see how thick the right side trees are. Yeah, super punishing mistake. Now she's going to have... Uh, I guess she's inside the circle at least, but that's going to be for bogey. Yeah. Not exactly the easiest putt to make for bogey. No. Let's okay. see. Hunnigan has a chance for birdie here. Yeah, it's a little bit tricky drop away. Let's we'll see how aggressive she gets. I think she doesn't really want any of it. Yeah. Just, just puts it close. Maybe um, maybe a little too risky with the OB behind. Yeah, it's that's a good play, especially in the first round of the tournament. If this was round three and hole 15, then it could be a bit different. Nice. Wow, that's a great putt there. Wow, yeah. Super solid from down on a knee. Great bogey save. She's having a good back nine. No. So she did actually go OB on the approach. Yeah, maybe got a little bit too thirsty on that bid, but... In yeah, bogey for Laura as well. So looks like Anakin will be uh, our outright leader after tapping in her par. Yeah, a couple of good pots for bogeys though. Yeah, true that. Good saves. Yeah, Anakin with a stress-free par there. Smartly played. And moving on to hole 16, par 4, 171 meters. Nice, nice tee shot here kind of a fair, fair bit of space to work with. You want to try to get up past these trees if you can, and that'll put you in a pretty good position to attack the basket either side. Yeah, and there's a couple of different options on this hole, both on the drive and on the approach as well. There's, off the drive, there's this one big tree in the fairway that you have to kind of choose to go either left of it or right of it. Either one will work. Let's see, Anniken is going for the right gap. Maybe even a bit too far to the right. 
yeah, she might be in, in a little bit of a, a tight spot over there. We'll have to have a look at her lie. Cola. Also going for the right gap. The right gap is definitely a bit bigger. So you would see most players going for the right gap. Or really anything near the tree or just past it is going to be a great drive. You know, there, Maria throws a, a bit shorter of a shot, but it's in the fairway, so she's going to have a good chance for the par. Yeah, just a little bit low on that forehand, but this is a good move from Laura. Kind of unlucky to get pinched up on that tree. Yeah, it's the, it's the one tree that you have to kind of pick a side of, and she just went kind of straight under it. Let's see what she will have from there. Ooh, nice move on this. This is a great forehand here. Ah, it kind of got gobbled up by the grass, but really, really good progress anyway. Yeah. I'm yeah. interested to see what Anikin has from here. Oh yeah, she has pretty much an open look. Yeah, she got space and she Yeah, really that's a rip. Really is this going to reach the basket? Oh yeah. Wow. She's up in the circle almost. Great shot. Great shot from there. Nice laser, yeah. This is a little bit oh, overturned. This and... is definitely OB on the right side. Yeah. Yeah. She really wanted it, but maybe needed to commit to the hyzer a little more. Yeah, now we see Laura was really unlucky to slide up right under that tree, and she has to kind of reach out with this forehand. Does pretty good, but... Um, yeah, that's the best you can do from there, really. Yeah, it's hard to get enough power to get all the way to the basket without the proper footing. So, Nicola, after the kind of unnecessary mistake on the approach, you know, the right side OB is... It, it does come in kind of tight at the end, but you really should try to avoid going to the right side OB as much as possible. Oh, nice. Nice roll and curl yeah. up inside bullseye there. Good approach there. Let's see Laura with kind of a touch forehand. Yeah, she's got this champion rhino that she yeah. really, really leans on for that approach game, and she's great with it. That's perfect. Right on the money. You can see the rhino not having a lot of glide, really settling under the basket. Yep. Uh, she wasn't happy about that. Didn't quite fully commit. All right. Anigan just inside the circle. Birdie look. Or the birdie. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's what we're used to Great seeing from birdie. her. She's finding that stroke and making a charge here late in the round. Two-stroke lead currently. And she's got her sights set on that tour title. Yeah. You can see she really wants that W out here. There we go with the par. And Laura also with the par. Yeah. A couple of... Or actually, three really great approaches there that we saw. Yeah. Whole 17, the beast, 129, I guess, plays like quite a bit more. Maybe it is actually more. Uh, a long shot with a very late, tight gap and a very, really tight, uh, really uh, Gary Green that drops off steeply into the OB. Yeah. Tough one. This is, a, this is a long, difficult hole. It's not only just long, but the, the gap at the end of the hole, it's kind of very tight for that kind of distance. You can see Anikin kind of fading towards the right side of the fairway, but she's on the fairway, that's completely fine. Yeah, and that might shape up pretty good for her lefty backhand approach. I, I think par feels like a real win on, on this one for most, especially in the in the FPO division for sure. It's, it's yeah. I would think uh, going for the par here is the play, but after you've thrown your drive and hopefully ended up on the fairway, like the first two players here have, then the approach is very difficult since there's a huge slope of behind the basket that leads to OB. So if you go at all long of the basket, you're most likely going to be OB. But if you leave it short of the basket, you're going to have a putt towards OB. Death putt, yeah. So yeah, it's a really difficult approach on this hole. Laura had a really nice full flight on her drive. Looked good. And this one's pretty good too. Didn't get as much distance, but it's inbounds and safe. And this is a pretty good upshot. Yeah, that's a great upshot. Putting it 
six and a half meters away from the basket. And the perfect angle to putt at it, because you can even miss that, and it probably won't go OB. Yeah. You know, if you're if you leave it short, if you can get pin high like that, you can give it a safer run, I guess. Exactly. Less stress on the. But on this the, one though, on the other hand, is is very scary. That's a really scary putt. She's gonna have eleven meters right towards OB. And yeah, like I expected, this is shaping up pretty good for Anakin's really good approach game, and she dials it. Just looks uh, a bit long. Yeah. Yeah. Instantly OB. That happens. Yeah, but that's that's a very tough basket placement, and I I have to say that I really like the hole for the scoring separation that it creates. Oh yeah, it's a great one. Provides a ton of drama coming down the stretch. So many big swings, you know, and you really have to have to manage this hole if you want to have have a good round. Yeah. It can all fall apart here, right at the end. And Maria there with a great par, really great par on this hole. Yeah, an every putt, and luckily it checks up. Let's see if Oni can, can save the bogey here and keep her lead at the event. Oh yeah. Yep. Good job there. Really important putt to make before the final hole of the first round. Yeah, and it's kind of a tough place to putt from. It's so steep uphill that you, you, it's kind of hard to get a really comfortable stance. You know, it's it's not yeah. far, but you've already taken an OB stroke, and then you know there's a lot of pressure on that putt. It's easy to miss that that one. It is, it is for sure. And also, well, I'm sure that Aniken doesn't really care about the scores at this point, but you know the situation is pretty tight between these players, so maybe that could even add to the pressure. I'm not sure. Definitely tight. Great par from Laura. Bogey for Nicola. Kind of having a tough stretch there, but hopefully able to do something special on this final hole. Yeah. Hole 18, 103 meters. Pretty uphill and with a, a really unique looking green here on a really steep slope. Really cool finishing hole. Provides a lot of excitement and entertainment. Yeah. This is uh this hole really sets up for a for a throw in. You know, because most drives I would imagine will probably end up kind of near the gap. This one is right side OB though. Yeah, that's a early bad release there. Bad miss there. Hope she can get up and down to save the bogey, but it's uh, not not too easy. Laura a little bit too straight, maybe? I like I like this line though. It's gonna be oh, the mouth great. of the gap. Yeah, it's great. Nicely played. And really on this hole, from there, she can run pretty aggressively at the basket since there is such a steep backdrop. Yeah. Or uh, or a backstop behind the basket. Yeah, she's in great position. Ooh, oh, that can... was a grip lock there. Yeah, it works out okay, but um Gonna have a pretty hard time saving the par from there, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be a difficult angle to approach the green from. She's got a great forehand, but I'm not. It's still gonna be a tight angle. Yeah. This one looks good. It's gonna be in the fairway, and also from here, she can kind of run the approach. Yep. Hopefully, even bring up the highlight birdie on this final hole. That'd be a great way to finish your round. I think he does really well to yeah. get up inside the circle. That's a perfect forehand. You can't really put it much closer than that with yep. the steep slope of the basket. That's right. She did everything she could. Definitely giving it a run. Come on. Ooh, Ooh yeah. Okay, it comes up just short, but I like the effort. Yeah, great shot. This is a great angle. We can angle, we can really see the flight of the disc. Puts yeah. it close anyway. Just going to be a. Tapping far from there. Come on, Laura. Put Another it highlight. In. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she's going for yeah, it. Yeah, she she was really trying hard on that one. Gotta appreciate the effort. Yeah. And she should I guess have a little bit of work left to do on the comeback, but it settled up pretty well. Yeah. She's closer than Anikan and Anikan is still only five meters away. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good finish there. Saving the par, even with a bit of an errant drive. Yep, and like like you said, you can really give it a run. Laura, Laura really went went after that one, and still still not far outside the bullseye. So, really really great hole design to provide highlights here right at the end for the crowd. And, uh, 
Yeah, great point. Especially on the final day, I expect there would be a big crowd on the final cards of FBO and NPO. Laura, yep. Yeah, good finish. You could see her really taking her time there. She knew that was an important pot to stay within one stroke <coughs> of the lead for round two. Yep. Nicola. Finishes up with a nice par as well. <coughs> yeah, so it looks like Maria's going to have the lone bogey on this hole after the OB. Really, really great upshot though, anyway. Yeah, that's a great upshot then. Pretty consistent rounds for our group. You know, Nicola maybe had this tough finish, but we saw some great shots, some good highlights. Yeah, that was a really fun round. Uh, really, really great to get the round started off, or the, the event started off with a, a bunch of good action here on the FPO side. We see that uh, Anakin has a one stroke lead over Laura, and Laura has one stroke over Maria. And Nicola, I was really impressed with her play as well. First time I've seen her on, on coverage, and uh, she, she played really well. Yeah. Nicola Monacova. And able to, able to hold the fourth spot on the lead card for round two. Great. So our lead card for round two will be the same players as round one right here. Nice one. Make sure you come on back to check out round two of the FPO from the Belgian Open 2022. Thanks a lot for being in the booth with me, Elias. You did a great Thank job. Thank you. It's been you a lot well. of fun.